Take two. That one was 15 minutes long. I've got to become more concise. Uh, my son bought a Glock 21 Gen 3, Glock 22 Gen 4. I've shot Glocks before, but only a couple times. And I tried his. The grip fit me perfectly. And so I tried a, a Glock 19 last week at the range. And I loved it. So this is empty. This is empty. Can weigh it with a magazine in it. It's one pound, 7.9 ounces. So that's 24 ounces. Roughly. Slam this shut. Try to get, no, there's no doing it gently. Um, ambidextrous slide release. Uh, or what do they call that? What's Glock say? It's, it's not a slide release. It's a slide lock. Um, okay. That's new for the Gen 5. This is the Gen 5 MOS. So it has a plate on top. To accept uh, an RMR, red dot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it does not have the U notch cutout at the bottom of the uh, grip. And that's one of the reasons why I bought this one. I didn't want that U notch cutout because it looked ridiculous. Uh, trigger comes in at Pretty much roughly five and a half pounds on my Lyman digital trigger gauge. And when I tried it, I was going to change the sights. But when I tried the Glock last weekend, uh, Glock 19 at the range, these sights worked fine for me. Um, Hickok 45 runs them, and they don't seem to fall off, and he must shoot 10 million rounds a year. When did I pick the lead, the, 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 the layer of lead? <clears throat> is on, on top of his range. <laughs> this was rapid fire at seven yards. I aimed for the eight, and I fired three mags. Uh, one was Winchester White Box, one was Hornady Critical Defense, and one was SIG uh, Elite V-Crown or V-Crown Elite, 124 grain, and... None of them went outside of this. No. I actually have a an engineer scale here. So I'll do this an inch. Hey, it's free. What do you want? So the extreme is five and a half inches. Four and a half. Well, let's just go up here and start with the one. Do I see my iPad again? Uh, four and three eighths. Whatever. Um, four and a half. But it was boom, 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 boom. Uh, I hate when people. I only have pistols that I can carry defensively. Okay. And I hate when people show a pistol on YouTube, and they say, well, let's see how it shoots. And they take 10 seconds between each shot. I'm not interested in what it's like to shoot it as a target pistol. I don't want to know how it reacts to a rapid shooting. So move the scale out of the way. And for a holster, I have this Fierce Defender. Fits in there nicely. Uh, they used to have an F and a D as their logo, and now it's, I don't know what the second character is supposed to be. Uh, but the thing I like about it is they cut this corner off. There's no need to have that corner there. And that's just less of the Kydex to dig into you. This, it, it fits well. These are nice. I, I get them from Amazon. Okay. Hickok, I, my, my, Usual carry, and I say that loosely now because I don't carry them anymore, is, is a full-size, uh, well, for, as far as a full-size pistol, uh, my, my usual carry is either 1911 Commander or <clears throat> sometimes 5-inch 1911. But 
in semi-auto double stacks, it is an MMP full size four and a quarter inch barrel, 17 rounds, and they're just big. And I can't get my hand up like that on the MP. It's usually down here is the most comfortable grip I can get. But with this one, I'm just locked up in here tight. And Hickok 45 has mentioned this a few times in his videos regarding the MP triggers that they break back too far from him, for, for, for him. And I always wondered what he was talking about. And then I bought this. And I was upstairs in my gun safe and I grabbed an M&P, made sure it was unloaded. And I'm with an apex trigger. So the, the, the trigger shoe is larger than the stock trigger with the apex trigger. And I pulled it back. And then I pulled this one back. And there is an extremely noticeable difference uh, between the two triggers as far as how far you have to pull this back in order for it to break. And if I hadn't mentioned it, uh, my Lyman digital trigger gauge, this is averaging five and a half pounds. Um, and I go slow. I've, I've seen some people just snap them back and you, you can get a trigger to, re to read trigger break to read a pound and a half if, if you snap it back quickly enough. Um, I don't see anything that I would change with this. I like these sights. Uh, I know people use these sights forever. They're plastic, but then so is this. Uh, I like the way the grip feels. I tried different back straps. They just push your hand back further. Um, it comes with four different back straps. I did not want to get one with the U-notch on the front. Uh, and so you have to buy it with the RMR plate. The MOS, the multi-optic system. It comes with a package of different plates for different manufacturers of red dots. Uh, the only thing I don't like with this pistol is that thick base plate. Um, I don't see why that's necessary. There is a flare for the magwell and I did put a butt plug in it. Um, it was $5. <laughs> yeah, if they could make these base plates thinner, that'd be nice. Uh, other than that, I just, it just, these take down much, you know, for, for a complete takedown, this is a breeze compared to an MP. MP has so many things you have to jiggle around. And hang on, I have to set this down. The bang you hear. All right, huh. let's take the magazine out. Okay, so the differences are with the other gins. Let me get my pointer. Now this is really high production value. Instead of being round, uh, the, the firing pin block, the striker block, is just this rectangle. It is round, but it's beveled up to a rectangular uh, shape there. So supposedly the firing pin block release tab follows that ramp up and you get a smoother trigger and this, this doesn't weigh much. Also the trigger return spring is in the front of that cruciform and not in the back. Just the iPad, not in the back. Uh, so, and it only has two takedown pins: one here and one in there. Trust me. Um, so, I can really appreciate as somebody 
who likes to take apart uh, guns to clean them. Not all the time, but you know, once every now and then. Uh, completely take it apart and clean it. I, I, I can appreciate this. With the M&P, you have to take the sight off to get the, the striker block out. Um, this you don't, but I will say on the M&P, the striker block release is all the way back here. There's more crud up here when you when you shoot when you're gun shooting, and so the M&P, um, I never never really took the sight out to clean that that channel or that that little recess for for the striker block, and that's that. I love it. I drank the Kool Aid. And it tastes good. It shoots well, too. Bye.